Hi, welcome. In this session, let us see about Flake 8. I am Kumar and welcome to my channel on tech and tutorials. Flake 8, the Python tool that checks our Python code for the coding standards. It will do a static code analysis of our Python code and it can test like for example Python errors, missing doc strings, unused imports or indentation and all. It can check all those things in our Python code. Basically it's a static static analysis of the source code and it is called linting. So linting means running a quality tool against our code. The tool will actually check our code syntax and provide instructions on how to clean it. Clean like tools will do a static analysis of the source code for semantic discrepancies. There are a couple of good tools for Python. One is called PyLint and the most popular one nowadays is the Flake 8. It's a wrapper on top of PEP8, PyFlakes, PyCodeStyle and other such tools. You can actually easily integrate this Flake 8 in your editor like PyCharm, Sublime Text or even Atom. So if you go to Google and type Flake 8, and you will see the first organic link here. This is the uh, home page for Flake 8. And if you go here, it's uh, easy to start with. You can just install pip install Flake 8 and you can get it started. In this video, we will see how to run the Flake 8 in a Jenkins server for our code, which is stored in github.com. We will pull down the code and then we will we'll test our coding standards in python which will give us a report as well we will also use a jenkins plugin called warnings next generation plugin which will actually give us a beautiful report for the code analysis that the flake flake 8 does on top of our code so this is the flake 8 home page and if you come here we will see how to install it and all but let's go to the documentation it's very easy to install pip install flake 8 and you can just Type the command flake 8 and the whole path you can give. So one of the best features of flake 8 is you can define which type of errors you want to verify or test for your code. So you can see here select all these errors and all. So we will go through this after, after setting up our code. When we run our code, we will go through some of these errors and all. I'll show you where all this uh, information is. You can find all this information links from this flake 8 documentation page from here. But I'll show you that. Let's go to our code here. This is our source code uh, in github.com and this is a public code. And by the way, this is my github and this is publicly available. Anybody can access this and download this code. And we can copy this copy this URL to check out from github.com. And then we'll go to our Jenkins server. So this is our Jenkins server, which is running on a Linux VM. Send to S7 and click a new item and then we'll we'll enter a name coding standards. We'll just name it as coding standards flake it. We can uh, do all this with the pipeline, but for this uh, demo, we'll just go ahead with the freestyle project and see how we can run it using Jenkins. Click on OK. So in this uh, configuration, Jenkins configuration page, we'll select Git and we'll paste our repository, which will not require any username and password because this is a public URL. And then we'll come down here and we will add a build step and we'll add execute shell. So if you see the execute shell here and the help here, see we need to provide this shell, bin shell, Define this bin shell because you can read through this because of the exit code and all. And then we'll just check the Python version. What we'll do is we'll just go ahead and save this for now and run it to see that we have the Python installed in the system. This is going to get to Python 2.7. some version, but I'll just go ahead and do a build now. In order to confirm my job is created fine and Jenkins is able to pull the code from github.com. So let's, the build is done and let's go to the console output and you can see that Python version is 2.7.5, the default Python which came with the CentOS 7, it's printing here. And the build is a success. And then it didn't fail on the git checkout and all, it got all the code. So now let us go ahead into our Jenkins VM. And I've already installed pip in this VM. So if you don't have pip in CentOS 7, pip doesn't come by default. So you may need to install the pip as well. Uh, yum install pip python dash pip will do and you can uh, you can find out a lot of materials in 
uh, in Google and all you can uh, find out how to install pip in a CentOS 7 machine. So pip is already installed. What we need to install is we need to install the virtual environment. So the for installing the virtual environment what we can do is pip install virtual env. So we will use a virtual environment to run our code. So for uh, for using the virtual environment we need to install this library virtual environment in this python 2.7 otherwise we don't want to install flake 8 into the systems python 2.7.5 will install a virtual environment and work with in our job so we will use the python 2.7.5 as the base because anyway we are just going to use flake 8 in case if you are going to use python 3.x and higher version you can go ahead and use the scl linux or you can also install python 3.3.x in a centos or any kind of other linux machine for now i'll just go ahead with installing virtual environment with python 2.7 okay so the virtual environment is installed then we'll just check the version that got installed so virtual environment got installed and the version so virtual environment is fine now so now let us do one thing let us go into our project and let us go to the configure and in the configure we can actually create the virtual environment so virtual environment we'll just name it as so we We'll do one thing we will not create like this we'll we'll define a variable called v e n v and then we can actually use the same same variable we have to use it for multiple we have to use this folder name virtual environment in multiple places so let me define a variable here virtual e n v let me make this a little bigger so we are checking the python version and then we are defining a, a variable virtual e n v n v and then we are creating the same name uh, virtual env vnv and what we need to do is we need to source this so we need to activate this virtual environment so that we can work with it and then it's supposed to be here activate and what we next the virtual environment we are inside the virtual environment and then we have to install flake 8 and then we will have to run our flake 8 command so let me just try out this activate so let me just save this and let us try that let us see that this command is getting executed properly let's go to the console output okay so virtual environment got created and then source also got activated and then pip install flake is getting executed python okay there is a deprecation warning on the python 2.7 since we are using python 2.7 but that's okay for now so our flake 8 got installed and it's a build is a success so if we go to jenkins it is in varlib jenkins workspace workspace and our job name is coding standards flake and if we do a ls here you should be seeing the virtual environment you should see the virtual environment and then you see all the other folders calculator employee and test which i fetched from github and then our requirements.txt is also there so i'm not going to run any of this test uh, these are all unit tests i'm not going to run it i'm just going to run the flake 8 to check all the python files in this folder so coming back to our jenkins so the other thing which we need to do is we need to install a plugin for displaying the report so let us go to jenkins and manage jenkins we are going to install a plugin manage plugin and then if we go to available here and then we are going to start typing warnings dash ng so this is the plugin which we need to display our report in a proper format and for reporting our flake 8 report so if i go to this warnings ng plugin here you can see all the documentations how to configure and all is available here in case if you want to go through it but anyway i'll just select this install download now download now and install after restart i'm going to select this because in case if there are some problems and all it's better to install with a restart of jenkins i need to restart jenkins so i just go to the command and restart yeah yes it's going to take a couple of minutes for the jenkins to restart so i'm going to pause the video and come back and come back once the restart is done okay so jenkins is now restarted let me log in again let us go to manage jenkins and manage plugins it should come under installed now and let 
me scroll down and you should see the warnings next generation plugin here so it got it looks like it got installed properly let's go back to Jenkins and then we can go to our job we can go to configure and the next thing what we need to do is we need to configure flake 8 to run our test so I have installed flake 8 so the command to run this is flake 8 and if we want to select any errors and all we can do dash dash select we'll do that later but but first let us run all the default analysis from flake 8 for our code so what we need to do is we need to provide the folder names so there are three folders calculator employee and my test which we want to test what i'll do is i'll just run for i'll just run for calculator slash and uh, i'll just run for my test as well so slash and then we can what we can do is we can output this flake 8 out dot text so we are going to use this flake 8 out dot text in our post build action so this is why we have installed that plugin warnings next generation and you can see a record compiler warnings and static analysis result this is the option that came from that plugin and in this drop down we are going to select flake 8 and then the record file pattern is this flake output which we directed to this file so i'll just paste it here and it also says that run flake 8 as flake 8 dash dash format pylint so which we are going to add it in our command here okay so uh, the other thing which which uh, we wanted to remember is you know this flake 8 if it finds any errors in our code it's going to do an exit status of 1 which Jenkins job is not going to like it and it's going to fail this one so for that what we need to do is we can actually provide an option for the flake 8 that is dash dash exit 0 exit 0 so if you come to the flake 8 documentation and then if you go to the full listing of options and descriptions here and you see the exit zero here why, why we are doing force flake is eight to use the exit status of code zero even if there are errors so there is going to be some or the uh, something or the other error for our code so that's why we have to provide this exit zero so it should give us an exit zero otherwise this script is going to fail and our job is not going to be a success it's going to output as fail and i not we will not get any output or result so looks like our configuration is all done let us go ahead and save it and then we'll do a build now and then let's refresh this which is going to give us this flake 8 warnings let us see what are so this is the output which uh, which it gave after our code has been run so let's first let us go into the console output and let's see what it has done actually so all the same here all the requirements and all are satisfied i mean it's already flake 8 is already installed when we ran last time so it's all fine and then finally after deactivating the post build action went ahead and it generated all the output you can see the flake 8 out the text it's using that and it's generating all the output so let us go back to our warnings so this is the flake 8 warnings here you can see all the errors that came from the flake 8 execution and all the coding standards and all which my code is failing you can see it here so this uh, this is the folder source folder and if you can go to the files as well it will show me which file has how many errors and all you can sort it by this and then what type of errors e231 e265 if you go to the issues here you can see here e303 here and if you open this plus sign you can see too many blank lines here it gives a short description of what actually it is and then uh, the best thing here is you can actually go inside this code from here itself and it will show you where exactly is the error this is a good good plugin a uh, warnings next generation plugin and then of course the flake 8 is good for giving us all these reports and all you will see all these error codes and all in flake 8 documentation let's go to the flake 8 documentation so i have shown you where you can get all the flake 8 options and all the most highly used are the ones which is like exit zero and then of course uh, which files you want to i mean which file names and all you want to put and which files you want to exclude there's a good amount of documentation available already available here if you go to selecting and ignoring violations this has got good amount of documentation here you can actually ignore some of these errors e1 e2 and all so let us see the errors and the violation code so these are all the error codes flake 8 installs pi code style as i was saying earlier it installs other libraries pi, pi code style pi flakes mac cave and all 
it and it uses all those error codes to generate a report for us so if you see all this f401 error around module import not used and all these are these are all flakes uh, error codes you can see all these other uh, error codes you can go through all these other error codes the pi codes list of error codes you can go here in this pi code list of error codes and then if you see here the error codes uh, which are starting with e1 is for indentation and then e2 is for void white space and all so you can go through all this list uh, here what all types of errors but the main one which uh, people are inter interested is the runtime uh, error e9 syntax error or indentation error so as you know as we know python python is quite strict on the indentation and all if you are able to catch it while you are developing or while you are building it then it really helps so io error and all these two errors e9 errors are the, like one one of the most high priority or highly important ones and of course there are other errors as well which you can actually use if you want so since we have seen a few things about those errors let's come back to our project and let us do one thing let us let me show you one option of providing the what type of errors i want to capture so let us go back to so let us go back to our options and if you go through this here you can see all these options you can ignore entire files and all so flake 8 has default list of violation classes that we use c90 class violations are reported by when you specify max complex complexity e class are errors f is reported by pi flakes w is warnings reported by pi code style so what we can do is we can provide the dash dash select and we can select what type of errors we want to test for our code dash dash c l c t and what we want to test is we want to test only e1 kind of errors say for example we want to test only e1 type of errors you can do that here select e1 and then you can also provide e2 e e9 which is like and if you select e1 it's going to test for all this e101 101 101 111 and all these things and you if you want you can also provide some of the f errors so i'll just provide f which is going to test for all f and I'm going to provide W which is going to give all the warning and there are other options if you provide select just specifying you can also ignore something for example I have provided E1 so it's going to test it's going to test all this E101111 I can specify ignore for example I want to ignore the first one E101 I can just uh, provide it dash dash ignore and then provide E101 like that so I'm going to leave it like this and then let me actually save this and run this is going to check only for e type of errors and f and w okay let me do one thing let me remove this w i'm not going to get i'm just going to see the f and e1 e2 e9 so let me save this and then let us build it now okay so if you see here you can also see this chart in here which uh, the flake 8 gives with all the how many failures and all per build it's going to show up in here let's do a build now and then our build got done Let's our build is done let's now go to the flake 8 warnings so you can see all the types here what type of here we are we are only testing e1 and f we have excluded w type so you are not seeing any w type of errors uh, warnings here and if you can go to the previous build and you should see all the types so this was the earlier one which we had with all the warnings and all w type of uh, warnings and all we are seeing here so in the latest one we have removed all the w so this uh, one w type of messages you are not seeing so that's about the flake 8 linting tool you can also use the same tool with other your pi test or unit test or functional test within your test you can do it so for example if we go to one of this our test you can see that this uh, flake 8 warnings here this is one of our, my other project and you see the test result here trend and then of course our flake 8 warnings are both are here in the same page here and you can do your test and you can check for other warnings also and then also you can also do the same thing using jenkins pipeline and all which is how actually most people do it for their projects so that's about the flake 8 linting tool and then how to use flake 8 with jenkins and the plugin warnings next generation plugin then we have seen how to run our flake 8 analysis tool from our jenkins using a python virtual environment in a jenkins 
server that's all in this session hope you like it thanks a lot for watching and please do leave a comment below about this video thank you